as far as what I'm hauling today, based on what I put or saw on the the, the load when it came into me, uh, the load came in through Telegram from my dispatcher. Has all the information, the miles. It said like 200 or whatever. Uh, the pickup was in a small town in Massachusetts. Uh, go into New York. Now, when they give you the the information, they they'll they'll put the the zip code, which I probably should have paid attention to because I, I was I was thinking New York maybe uh, to the airport again or right onto Long Island, um, away from the city. Uh, it didn't really dawn on me to check the zip code, which was my mistake because um, I'm gonna have to go in, into the actual city. It looks like based on the address that I saw for the delivery. Um, but, but yeah, so I, I went there, it said 500 pounds on the information I received when I got to the site. Uh, spoke to the guy at the loading dock. It's actually only four, it's four or five gallon buckets. Uh, so I carry two of them, you know, farmer's walk style. The, the guy there was really nice. He, he carried the other two definitely not 500 pounds um, and you know maybe I'll throw the, the, the photo in here or I'll, I'll post a separate video showing the freight and showing my journey for the day um, but it's I, I just pin them with the ratchet straps to, to each side of the truck so two on each side maybe it's like maybe 300 pounds I'd be surprised if it's even that um, I'd say probably about 200 pounds is what the actual weight is, 200 to 250. Um, but yeah, so I, I bid a dollar fifty a mile to get me out to New York, which pretty good. Um, like when you do regional and local stuff, you, you typically want to do higher bidding. Um, like usually I, I, I try, try not to leave my house for less than $250. But for this, it's, it's fine doing a dollar fifty a mile. It's still regional technically, you know. I'm still within New England, uh, but my my goal is to try to do a, a longer haul uh, after I hit New York. And